Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess and welcome to our ninth lab exercise demonstrating the ArcGIS hydrology tools. This one's really similar to lab exercise eight back when we calculated the areas within the Picture Canyon watershed that face north or south or flat. Now this exercise is going to show you how to figure out how much of the watershed has shallow versus steep slopes. This can be important information for land managers. If you're planting timber harvest in an area, for example, the slope of the area tells you what kind of equipment and harvesting methods you'll need to use to do the work. Okay, let's get started. So first off, we open up the slope tool and calculate the slope in this area. We're going to do it in percent slope. And this slope tool, this, this like the aspect tool, uh, Esri does have a new version of this in the surface parameters tool. I'm just using the original because that's what I'm used to. So we're going to do slope on the DEM. The output is going to be called Flagstaff percent slope. We're going to calculate these slopes in percent and we're going to use geodesic methods and the vertical units are meters so this is all set up just hit go and there we have our slope raster okay next up we want to reclassify this into steep versus shallow slopes and I'm going to use a, a threshold of 40 percent for this one so that is the reclassify tool there we go. We're going to reclassify our percent slope. The attribute field is value. Okay, so we're only have, going to have two classes in this one. Zero to 40%, we're just going to call it a one. 40% to 1,000%, we're going to call it a two. So zero to 40 is a one. Then 40 to 1,000 percent, call it a 2, good. All the rest of this we can just get rid of, select it, hit the delete key, and it goes away. And we're going to call this output Flagstaff Slope Class. Okay, so now we have slope turned into two values, shallow and steep. Now we clip this to the Picture Canyon watershed. That's the Extract by Mask tool. Okay. We're gonna, the input raster, the one that we are clipping, is the one we just created. The mask that we will clip it to is the Picture Canyon watershed. We're going to call this new one Picture Canyon Slope Class. And the analysis extent is set for us appropriately when we pick the, the mask feature class. Okay, now it's been clipped to the Picture Canyon watershed. All right, so next we need to calculate the acreage that is steep versus shallow. First thing we have to do is add attribute fields to our attribute table. So we're going to open the table. And as before, I've got the the actual areas blurred out just because it's homework. All right, so we're going to add a couple of fields. First one is going to be slope class. This is going to be a text value. Just 15 characters long is enough. Next, we're going to have a field for acreage. It'll be a double precision value. Okay, save our edits, close this, and now we have two new attribute fields. Okay, so class one is going to be the shallow slopes. Remember that was zero to 40%. Class two is steep. All right, now we need to calculate the acreages for these. Just right click and do calculate field. It's telling us that we have pending edits. That's because we type stuff in here. We haven't saved it yet. So I'm just going to hit this to save their, those values. All right. No pending edits. It's been done. Now we need to do that same equation that we did before. We calculated 
the acreage based on the X and Y size of the raster cells themselves times the, uh, times the conversion factor. So let's do that. The cell width times the cell height times a conversion factor times the cell count right here. Just pop that in, hit OK, and there we go. Now we have the areas that are shallow and steep slope. And that's all it took. All right. Thanks so much, everybody.